Hi everyone, thanks for watching from wherever you are. My name is Andrew Wegoye. I'm co-founder of Hornbill Treks and Safaris um, uh, Uganda. Hornbill is a, a, a high-touch boutique, friends and family founded and run company. We specialize in wildlife and cultural experiences in Uganda and East Africa. So why should you visit Uganda? What are you missing out on by not visiting Uganda? Number one, it's a great birding destination. So for your avid traveler out there who loves birding, Uganda has over 1,000 species of birds uh, uh, in the country. And there are multiple places that you can see birds. You can actually have an itinerary just focused on, on bird watching. Of note, the endangered shoe bill uh, is found in Uganda in multiple places. One of the most popular areas where you'll find it is the Mabamba Swamp. Uh, in this swamp, you can actually take a dugout canoe and get really close to this amazing prehistoric uh, bird. Reason number two, why should you visit Uganda? Uh, for your active traveler, for your adventurous traveler looking for, uh, to, for opportunities to get immersed in nature, Uganda is home to one of the tallest mountains in Africa. Uh, Renzori Mountains with a permanently snow-capped uh, peak, Margarita, which sits at about 5,109 meters above sea level. Really beautiful uh, area. The excursion to the top of the mountain takes about seven days. Um, but there's other mountains that you can trek to the top as well. Mountain Elgon being one of those mountains and Mountain Mgahinga. For your traveler looking to do hiking, whether it is in forests or hiking to the top of the falls, we have a, we have a beautiful falls called Sipi Falls uh, that are created by a stream of water flowing from Mountain Elgon in the eastern part of the country. You can hike to the top of that uh, fall. And then there are multiple forests like Mabira Forest, uh, Windy Impenetrable National Forest. Uh, you can take nature walks in these forests uh, as well. As far as active sports, uh, there's opportunities for bungee jumping, uh, quad bike riding, horseback tours, uh, whitewater rafting in an area called Ginger. Uh, so the source of River Nile is actually in Uganda and just north of the, the, the source are these beautiful rapids that are ideal for whitewater uh, rafting. Reason number three. Uganda is home to some of the natural wonders of the world. I mentioned River Nile, the longest river in the world, has its source in Uganda. North of, of, of the river are these magnificent falls called Machison Falls, where the entire Nile goes through this gorge that is about 7 meters wide and 45 meters deep. So you can imagine the entire River Nile just tumbling down this narrow, deep gorge creating these amazing falls uh, with a very, very loud roar. These are actually one of the most powerful uh, falls in the world. But Uganda is also home to uh, the largest part of the biggest uh, freshwater tropical lake, which is Lake Victoria. It is shared between Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania, but the largest portion uh, is in Uganda. As you move to the western part of the country, it's really lush and beautiful. Uh, there's plenty of evidence of previous volcanic activity, uh, be it crater lakes, uh, mountains, just creating these really beautiful, breathtaking uh, landscapes. So plenty to see in Uganda. Um, and, and for that reason, Uganda is called uh, the, the Pearl of Africa because of all the beauty uh, that this country uh, has. Reason number four, why should you visit Uganda? Cultural immersion. Uganda, as small as it is, like I said, about the size of Oregon State, is home to over 40 tribes. Each one of these 40 tribes has its own variation of music, its own variation of food, dressing, uh, farming, passage of right activities, food processing, and just ways to go about the problems of life without uh, having machines, right? How to, pro how to solve everyday problems using really indigenous ways rather than depending on machines.
for those looking for native tribal immersion opportunities. Uh, there is the Karamajong in the northeastern part of the country. Uh, you also have the Ik tribe and, and the Pokot as well. Now, Uganda, because of the previous volcanic activity, giving rise to really fertile soils and the conducive weather warm throughout the year, uh, is, is home to uh, uh, some of the best tropical foods that you ever come across. So if you're looking for vegetables, fresh vegetables, a fresh fruit, Uganda is home to that. But also local cuisine because of the multiple tribes, each one of them preparing food slightly different from the next one. Uh, there's opportunity to test the different local cuisines uh, in Uganda. Uh, one, 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 one dish that I like to mention is the Luombo, which is uh, from the uh, Buganda tribe. This dish is prepared uh, by steaming meat, which is usually chicken or beef, uh, in banana leaves. And uh, it, 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 it's cooked slowly over a fire. It's served with mashed plantain, green plantain. And that's one that I, I tell our travelers to always try and test if they have the opportunity to. Reason number five, why should you visit Uganda? The amazing wildlife. Now, Uganda is mostly known for uh, its mountain gorilla population. And that is for good reason. Over 50% of the remaining gorillas in the wild are in Uganda. There's two parks where you can see gorillas. Uh, Mugahinga National Park, which has one family of gorillas, and then Bwindi Impenetrable National Forest Park, where you can see multiple families of gorillas. But beyond the gorillas are about 13 other primate species that you can see in Uganda, including um, chimpanzees, uh, you can see black and white uh, monkeys, you can see colobus monkey, you can see golden monkeys, you can actually go golden monkey trekking in Uganda. But beyond the primates, we also have other amazing wildlife. You're going to see some of the largest uh, herds of hippos in Uganda. In fact, you can see the big five in Uganda. Uh, most people don't know that, but you can. There are large herds of elephant. Uh, you can see uh, rhino in Uganda. You can see leopard in Uganda. You can see lions. Uh, in Uganda and large herds of Cape uh, Buffalo. As a company, we believe that great trips can do good. And uh, one of our core values is harnessing the power of tourism to uplift the well being of local communities. We actually uh, partner with a local school for at risk children, uh, multiple schools actually for at risk children, and every trip that we book supports uh, the programs uh, on the ground in Uganda. We are also uh, huge on uh, protecting the environment. We have a tree planting project uh, that is geared towards repl replenishing the habitats of the wildlife um, and the communities uh, where the travel happens on the ground. So between the wildlife, the cultural immersion uh, opportunities, uh, the birding, the uh, adventure uh, experiences. I hope you, you have the opportunity to visit Uganda soon, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.